you guys, I got a small Amazon haul and I thought I would share, mostly because I wanted to show you the size of something uh, more than actually what I got. <laughs> so um, basically I placed a, a planner order, if you will, from Amazon and I just, like I just said, want to share. So the first thing that I got is in this plain white box, glue sticks. Now I've been using being just these regular glue sticks I got at the store. I've tried several different kinds. I've tried the tacky glue ones, um, I don't know, the kids glue ones, a whole bunch of them. And they all work. They all work well. So, um, but I'm trying to glue down some heavy duty thick paper into my faux bonici and um, I want to make sure it stays forever. <laughs> so I got to looking online for what was the best rated glue sticks and this UHU, Yuhu, is that how it is? Stick came up. And I've already got an open one somewhere. But this stuff is amazing. This whole box, there was, uh, there's 12 of them in here. It was $9.99, free for eight if you're a Prime member. And um, so less than a dollar a stick. The, um, it is the best glue I have ever run into for glue sticks. It, it goes on super smooth. There's no of the little chunkies, like sometimes you get a, like a thicker, thicker spot on these than, you know, it doesn't spread out very evenly. Um, and it's super sticky. I mean, when it sticks down, it is stuck down. And I like that it's got a screw on cap so it stays, um, you know, really tight and it doesn't dry out. I'd say probably the only thing I, I don't like about these, if you can call it that, is the fact you can't tell how far down you are on your glue stick. But if you're gluing things into your Hobonichi, your Fobonichi, whatever, and you're trying to use a glue stick, which I think is brilliant, um, these also seem to be like a little wetter. The store ones that I've gotten so far have been like a little wet wetter, for lack of a better word. These go on like almost like a dry adhesive. It's it's the weirdest thing ever, but I do really, really recommend them. Like I said, not that expensive. You might be able to find them even cheaper someplace else. I got the box of 12 for 10 bucks. Um, like I said, I don't know if that's a great deal or not, but it had a price range I wanted to pay and the amount I wanted. So um, yeah, so I would recommend these a lot. <laughs> um, the next thing I got, Jennifer McGuire made me buy. She that woman cost me more money. I'll tell you what, her and and uh, Star of May, what Christina, Christina Warner. Oh my gosh, they just they cost me money, <laughs> a lot of money. Every time Jennifer McGuire does something on her video, I go, I can do that, and I have to buy it. But anyway, she did an Erin Condren review-ish video on her favorite pins, and I put these off and put off getting the friction pins because I have the friction highlighters but then I watched a few videos and everybody was like oh but in certain temperatures they disappear and all that kind of stuff and I was like oh uh oh so I anyways um I won't be using these in my Fobonichi or anything like that because it has my memories forever in it and I'm really scared that 10 years down the road I'll open a book and there'll be no words left <laughs> but I'm getting a planner um Hopefully in the next couple of weeks I ordered it over Black Friday and I thought these would be great to use in it and um, like I said Jennifer McGuire was the one I saw these on and they are they come in 10 colors there's different kinds and different packs and I'll link all of this stuff down below um, if you want to check it out for yourself and I'll, I'll put her video down below also. But this one had a whole bunch of colors and I do like to play with colors and they're really cool if you haven't seen these before. Um, they, you know, basically they're a friction erasable pin. So basically you click, let's see if I can give my camera a chance. You click it down, opens the nib, and it writes. So once it's written, if you don't want it to be, um, if you don't want it there anymore, you just erase it with friction. It's like heat that removes it from your paper. And poof, it's gone. What I liked best about these was not so much that they're the clickable ones, I don't really care about that, but I liked the colors. Uh, she showed a lot of the colors on hers, and it's a good range of colors, and I love to play with color. So I, it, these were not cheap though. Um, they were like 20, 20 some odd dollars for the set. Again, I paid, I have Prime, so I got free freight on them. Um, 
you might shop around if you don't have Prime on Amazon to see if you can find them cheaper, but the cheapest I found them was $20, $22. Um, but again, I'll link these down below. The last thing I got, which is really kind of the whole reason I'm doing the video, <laughs> was um, as Corey and the guys that everybody over at uh, the Fobonichi Facebook group has kind of dubbed this, I got a baby Nietzsche. <laughs> We're calling this one the baby Nietzsche because it's like a little baby one. And the reason I say it's like a little baby one is uh, this is, as you can tell, the Miguel, Miguel Ruiz um, Flexible Notebook Journal. It's the 200 square one, or 200 sheet one. Um, it's just the little one. Uh, there's different sizes of these. I'll link that down below also. But this is the full size one. I can't even get the whole thing in my camera. This is the Baby Nietzsche. <laughs> So I, I debated on whether I wanted to get this or not for the longest time, but what my planner is going to take up I'm, a lot of my squares that I use now in my planner, my Fobonichi, I'm going to move to my planner so I won't have as much to put in here. And I, I'm trying to decide whether in January to switch over to this one or not, but this kind of gives you a general idea of how big this one is. This is six by eight and a half, I believe, is the size, um, the official size of the regular Miguel Ruiz flexible journal. And this one's 4.5 by six. And I just think it's like the perfect size. I plan on using the same format where one page is covered and one page is the journaling and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited about it. But I'm really, I'm torn on whether to keep going in this one after January or not. So we'll see how that ends up. But basically that was what I wanted to show you was a size difference in um, the, the littler one and the bigger one. And there's like numbers for these like A5, A6, A82. I don't know my numbers yet. So I go by, this is big six and a half six by eight this is little four and a half by six so if you're interested in looking at the little ones or getting the little ones again I got mine on Amazon I have not found it anywhere else other than the you can get it at the actual Miguel Ruiz website but I don't know what the prices are on that but I'll link all that down below um, but anyways if you're thinking about getting that uh, that's how big it is so I just wanted to share I hope you guys are having a great day um, check out these pens. The colors are fabulous. I, I really enjoy... D Stop it, Jennifer. <laughs> Not that she'd ever even know that I existed, but still, oh my gosh, I have to stop watching her until my budget builds back up. And then if you're looking for a really, really good glue stick, I really, really, really recommend these. Y'all have a great day. I hope that kind of was fun to watch, if nothing else. And maybe I enabled you because somebody needs to be enabled besides me. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye now.